And it's interesting you talk about the the quietness. Like if, it, if we go for too long without talking to you, there are actually some of the guys here that they don't want to hear from the spot. We're here at the top of the turn one, I guess, of the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. I'm with Matt. Matt is my spotter. Uh, in Europe, we don't know what spotter is really. <laughs> so I guess you can, you know, tell us what you know, what you do, and what are the details, and how we the relationship works. Um, so yeah, well, you know, what what do you look for here? Yeah. So uh, yeah, the the simple answer of what is a spotter? Spotters, you know, the the eyes in the sky and uh, yeah, an extra voice in his ear. It's but, fast. It is fast. <laughs> so obviously, uh, you know. Uh, being in the car, the visibility is quite limited on the ovals, um, and that's really where the spotter is is you know pretty key in, on road racing, street racing. Not so much, uh, not so much importance put no. on spotting for that. There are you know certain places at certain tracks where you know they could be beneficial, but it's only for you know one corner or one section of a, a racetrack. Uh, whereas on the oval, we're basically you know talking to you and uh, and uh, working you through traffic and everything all the way around the racetrack. On ovals, uh, we are a big padding in the helmet so we can't turn the helmet in the car so we can't really look in the mirror mirrors and on top of that it goes so fast that's why we've got a spotter so typically Matt would tell me if there's anyone behind me or far is behind me if he's gonna go have a run meaning he's gonna try to pass me or not uh, and then we can go more into details right you can tell me about the line like until later or earlier I'll yep. try this and that because it's true from the top of here we actually see quite a bit think that there's a lot of places where you don't see so you Correct. get me out of four, right? <laughs> I pick you up out of turn four, yeah. So it, at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, it's so big, we got to run two spotters here. So I'm in turn one, we have another guy in turn three. And so for me, I pick him up out of four. We'll carry him all the way through the entry of turn two. Jesse will pick him up out of turn two, carry him all the way to the entry of turn four. That's basically how it works. It's it's very NASCAR, right? Yeah, Spotter. yeah. <laughs> uh, it's on ovals. I don't use one on road course because I don't feel like I need one. Yep. But here, definitely, I sometimes when the radio goes quiet for too long, I'm worried that the radio is <laughs> and I wouldn't like to, to be running on ovals without a spotter. So, yeah, it's it's something very oval specific, something you have to learn to do at the beginning, yep. you know, because you always have someone talking to you on the radio. We also have to get a good communication uh, because, you know, five lengths, one length, two lengths, bumper, outside, inside, all of those small details. At, at the end of the day, we're going to go and debrief and talk about what I like, what I didn't like, and how we can make it better. And it's interesting you talk about the the quietness. Like, if, it, if we go for too long without talking to you, there are actually some of the guys here that they don't want to hear from the spot. Not, not oh, until well. there's, like, you know, an accident or, you know, some sort of big thing happening. They kind of handle it with themselves, where there are other guys that, you know, they want to be talked to 100% away, 100% uh, of the way around this place. Yeah, no, for sure. And uh, Rhino is good example the wind just picked up so that's another thing with the spotter yep. you talk to you know there's a big wind socket I'm gonna try to show you well we don't really Island, we see the wind socket and the wind changes a lot through uh, Indiana Motor Speedway Speedway so that's another place where the spotter can really help you and, and tell you how things are going but yeah that's that's basically the view you, you get from here uh, it's pretty amazing it's, it's a very unique place we're talking about being picked up out of turn four and then if we go all the way, that's going to be turn one, and then all the way behind, that's going to be turn two, and then that is where the next spotter takes us. But yeah, it's a huge place, and there's a lot going on, so it's quite, quite interesting.